So today, guys, we are going to the flowers market Hello. with Nicolas, which is an incredible flower designer. Most of you know that I'm very inspired by flowers to do my makeup. So he's going to take us there and create beautiful bouquets around my color mood. Great. Do you want to follow me to hold it? Cool. We'll find uh, some flower. Uh, we are on 28th Street at the flower market. So we will just discover a few shops and make a selection of flower. I'm really happy because I'm always inspired by colors for the week. Yes. And nature is a big inspiration for me and I wanted your artist point of view for a color mood I have for this week and it's gonna inspire me for the makeup. The color mood is pink, nude, but I still want a bit of black in my lash line to bring a little bit of of pop. Maybe we can make a stop at the rose shop because roses can be a base for yes. a bouquet. Wow, it smells so good. In terms of pink, we have like many options. I like um, when it's a bit like off colors. I like it's, oh, that's beautiful. That's yes, like that's a kind of English style roses. This. Is that too light? No, or? it's just a mix. This can be used. That is gorgeous. Let's do it. This is very nice. And what else do we like? Oh, yes. those one over there are very nice. Protea, pink protea. Wow, beautiful. maybe I should get just one. We can have one, of course. No, it's really Yes, I so love how it. How does it open? I never had one before. Yes. This is great. Okay, so now we go home and you're going to show me your magic. I want to see how you do that. Okay. Sometimes I buy flowers from the deli or whatever and I never know how to. Okay, I will give you some of my uh, pick. You go in the building? Three? Ah. Okay. Okay, we are sick. <laughs> Welcome home. Wow, thank you. Beautiful. Some base that I thought might work, but you... That's great. Okay, great. Oh, so beautiful. So like that, we'll oh. maybe use them as a collection. Okay. Or, yeah, that would be nice. I have um, one small one that I really like too, I'm just thinking. This is the one I talked about. You told me that it will be dark, so I bought those beautiful uh, black cosmos. Yeah, I love this. So show me a bit how you make it work. Since you have those two vases here, well, a pair, I think we can use one with the anemone mm -hmm. and another one with garden roses, for example. Okay. This one can be used for this flower as a okay. single stem because I don't think it needs anything else. Yeah, I agree. So that will be beautiful. First, we add some water. Depending on the flowers, do you have to put more or less water? Yes, the anemone doesn't need so much water, for example. Okay, so this one, yes. they don't need so much water. No. And the roses will need more water, okay. so it's great to use two vases. And I bring you something. And you will be able to keep... Pink, perfect. What is your favorite season of the year for your work? I think the fall is very interesting. Oh yeah? Yes, because you have like bright color, beautiful leaf, the dahlia also in seasons. Uh. And since also you have flower from Japan coming or from uh. Chile, you are able to find those beautiful peonies, for example, even the from winter. Chile, right? Yes. So we start with the anemones okay. first and we just make a nice bundle. So for this bouquet, we not mix so much. We use only the anemones. I see you turning, putting I one, I turn two. the bouquet to organize the stem all in the same direction. Mm. Like that, it look a little bit so more clean in the vase. They and they can open, you can have some hair in your bouquet. Okay. Each flower will have some room. So we put a little bit of tape to attach them together to keep the shape of our bouquet. And after we have to cut them. So to cover the tape, we'll use a little leaf mm -hmm. like this because it will be more clean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So fun. Thank you. And you use a pin just to finish. So chic, we like dressed. It's, it's simple and it's very elegant. So those ones can go here. We'll add a little bit of water later. I like to create yeah. 
kind of a movement. So we have those beautiful pennies also to use. Like this. And we turn a little bit when we place the roses. Can I try just to see? Yes, of course. So now here, right? For example, yes. And then I turn where? You turn, you turn like this, you open your bouquet, perfect. And after you can maybe put the peonies. Turn again? Yes. So are you doing a cluster? So that means you will put the peonies together. Okay. Or create a cluster of color or do it very mixed. Depends on the look you want to give. If you want to give a gardeny look, you will make it very mixed. If you want to create kind of a modern side, you will yeah. put it as a cluster. The peonies will be on one side, for example, and the uh, roses on the I other like side. Messy. For example, we can like put the peonies here. So Always look see. at your bouquet. What do you think? That's amazing. This is so beautiful. I think we can place our bouquet and maybe place that on the side just to create some drama and a cascading effect. Okay. Perfect. We can keep it maybe a little bit as an angle like this and add those one on the side. Thank you. Oh, I love drama. And you have like a simple bouquet with something yeah. a little bit more sophisticated in a way. So I think it's a good combination. Sure. Let's do the small vase that you will do. So we put the water. You take the flower stand mm -hmm. by stand and after we just cut them at the same level in places. Okay, so I do a little bouquet. Little bouquet. Maybe here. It's a perfect amount for your way. And you can add a little accent of the red eucalyptus. Oh wow, that's so pretty. I love it, look at that, that, love, love, love. For this, to be honest, I will do nothing. When you have like big stem like that, or like wood, yeah. it's nice to cut them on this side too. Like this. Okay, yeah, okay. The flower can bring better. Okay. And it looks like an art piece. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. And okay. you will do those one, so we will place maybe on this one. Perfect. And same, you can use them as a collection together, or you can just okay. create them around your house. Cool. Thank you so much. Of course. I, I'm so excited. I learned this because I love flowers, and I was really missing the major information. <laughs> so I'm really happy. Okay, I'm going to put my makeup now. That's great. So now I'm feeling very, very inspired from my look and I'm happy that we found colors of flowers that are exactly what I had in mind for the makeup. I want something that is between strong and soft, exactly like these beautiful flowers we picked today. I'm gonna start with complexions. I'm gonna have a little bit of concealer under my eye and around my lips as usual. I apply a little bit more and on the same zone just because I want to bring some brightness to my skin. Then I'm gonna apply this pink blush on the apple of my cheeks. And this product that I love, it's from Victoria Beckham and Estee Lauder. Um, it's sort of a, like a very nice jelly with a flat, tiny, tiny bit of a glitter, but on the skin you can't even see the glitter. It's just gonna make my skin really juicy, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Right now I'm gonna apply the black pencil in my lash line and in my wild line and really between my lashes. The idea is to create a very intense lash line to contrast with my eye color, to contrast with the softness of the pink, to create an intense look without being heavy. So what I do is I really color my lash line and the water line and then on the top eyelid by the lash line I'm gonna apply the black but then I'm gonna blend it not too high but just so it's easier and it blends better when I apply the eyeshadows. Also something I like when I use this product is to shake my eyes a little bit more up so don't hesitate to not draw a liner, but you know, shape it up a little. So 
I'm starting the eyeshadows with this red. It might be scary, but I love how the black and this red are gonna blend together. Um, so I'm really doing on the bottom and top eyelid. I'm not gonna go too high. It's more like a sort of um, base that I wanna put on, so it's gonna push the pinks I'm gonna put on top. And I love how the black and the red mix together for the base as my makeup. Now I'm having this sort of like soft pink coral eyeshadow on and it's pretty matte uh, all over my eyelid so I'm not going to go too much on the black. I'm more focusing on the upper part of my eyelid and on the bottom too. And now I have this dual chrome, it's sort of um, copper, pink, yellowish, uh, very metallic eyeshadow and with my finger I'm just going to apply it all over my eyelid, not too high because I want to keep the upper part of my eyelid more matte so it's a beautiful ombre uh, with different shades and texture. And a little bit of highlighter in the inside corner of my eyes and my brow bone and I'm just blending it with my finger so everything blends well together. So it's sort of like 50 shades of pink <laughs> on my eyelid um, but for me it was very important to have the black so you see the black is not pushing too hard but I love to have the definition of it and I'm gonna you know just like draw a little bit more in the angle to have this little cat eye effect without looking like I'm having an eyeliner um, then I'm having black mascara a lot to intensify the black pencil and again when you use black pencil it's really beautiful by the lash line because it's going to push your eyes color and when you have brown eyes you're happy when you're able to push it. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite tricks is to use a glitter liner in a very very thin line on the cupid's bow to make it more plump so you're not going to be able to see it every time and when I move suddenly you're going to have this shine so it's really reminding me of the dew in the morning on flowers you have this reflection because of the of the highlights and that's something I really love. I'm doing exactly the same in the inner corner of my eyes and it's going to bring a little emotion to the eye. It's gorgeous during the day but also at night. I'm going to go with a very soft fresh pink nude on my lips but I posted a while ago one uh, the exactly same technique with a darker shade and this sort of eyeliner trick is so gorgeous. A bit more of the jelly I want to make sure I have a very juicy complexion today and that's it. Et voilà, I hope you guys had fun and felt very inspired with all these beautiful flowers. I hope you had a good time with Nicola and I. I was feeling really blessed to be able to see a little bit of the behind the scene of uh, the flowers market. And I can't wait to see you next week.